how are you guys doing today? Hope everybody is having a wonderful and super and fantastic type of day today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup. And we are so glad to have you here. And when I say we, I mean you as in me as in you. Um, because this channel is your channel as much as it is my channel. And with that said, you know, come on in. Welcome you here with a great big old hug, you know, with open arms. Grab yourself a snack, a little cup of drink, a little cup of cuppa, a little something something. Because today we're going to be talking about some skincare diet. So if you're interested in knowing anything about my skincare routine or want to see my skincare routine um then stick around and let's do this together hey guys and welcome to my night routine so we are here i just finished doing a video um, it was a get ready with me, so you guys will be seeing it. it should be up before this one. Um, so anyway, I just put on a um, old t-shirt that I've got on. So usually um, depends. Uh, I usually sometimes I'll sleep in old t-shirts. Usually, um, but anyway, but I am ready to take off my makeup. So before we get started, I just wanted to um, remind you guys that I use a lot of stuff, and I'm just saying you do not have to use all this stuff. You don't have to use half this stuff. You can use one or two products. You don't need to use a million. I use a lot of things before I go to bed, so there's a lot of steps here, but don't feel that you need to do this. Don't feel that you're obligated to do this. Don't feel that you're obligated to buy these more luxury items because the majority of this stuff is very luxury, so I'm just lucky because, again, I get this in gratis, um, and I get things sometimes they're given to me, so so I'm just really lucky in that aspect because I work for these uh, the Dior and Lancome. So I'm just blessed. So just to throw that out there, just don't think that you guys are obligated to do any of this. I'm doing this because you guys have asked me over and over and over and you wanted to see it. And I've, I've mentioned to you guys a million times that I use a ton of stuff. But you guys want to see it. So we're just going to throw it out there and we're going to do it. <laughs> so, and you know, I am 51 and I've been doing this since... I started taking care of my skin at 16 and I had really, really bad acne and I had really bad cystic acne that ran all up and down my jaw and all around my, my side of my face. And it was really deeply embedded. I had scarring um, and I just started using stuff like because at that point in time, fruit acid just came out. I mean, I started using things at a younger age. So I started at a very young age doing skincare and I've just always been like this. I mean, I've done a lot of steps and rich creams and things for a long time. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out to you guys so you just know. So first of all, we're going to wash our hands. So we're going to wash our hands first. Okay, cool. So we got our hands washed. So I'm going to go backwards and forwards here to here so I can just see kind of what I'm doing. So we do have mascara on. You can see I have eyeliner on and I do have eyeshadow. So I'm going to I'm going to remove my, with my Moncom Bifacil eye makeup remover. And you just shake it and um, we're just going to put it on a... These are the Shiseido Cotton Round. I love these. You can get them in a pack for... I don't know. I think the, the pack of them were like $15, I believe. So um, they're really, really awesome. But I love this. It's one of my favorite eye makeup removers. But I just take this and I just run it over the cotton just a little bit and just kind of soak it in there a little bit more. Just kind of get it together. And then we're just going to take it and I'm going to place it over my eyeball. And we just sit here and hold for a minute. La, 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 la. Sing a song. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you just sit here and just hold it just a little bit, and then it just it starts to remove and do most of the work for you. So you got you don't have to do a lot of work to get your eye makeup off. It pretty much takes it all off on its own. And as you can see, it's like it's really. It looks like I think it's coming mostly. Most of it's coming off. Yeah. So it just really it just took all that off very easily. Um, it doesn't make the, the work so much less on your eyelashes, and it's just so good for your lashes. The only thing is, I don't like the um, the oily eye residue that it leaves, but I do love the fact that it takes off really good. It even takes off um, um, lashes really well. If you have glue and stuff on it, it takes off lashes really well. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back in with the um, Moncom, the Microcellular Water. This is the um, uh, Microcellular Dessure, Dessure. And I'm gonna just run, I'm gonna run a little bit, I'm gonna bring out just a little bit of that and I'm just going to run this over my eye because um, I'm going to be using a cleansing balm to take off the makeup with. I don't like using, um, I don't like using uh, 
cleansing balm on my eyes because the thing about it, when I put cleansing balm on my eyes, it makes my eyes really um, irritated and it leaves like a film on my eyes and it just makes, I feel like it goes everywhere. So I use the eye makeup remover instead. That's why I use one. And the microcellular just gets off that extra little film that may build up on my eyes because I don't put cleanser up on my eyes. I don't use foam around my eyes because my eyes are so sensitive and they burn. And then the next day they're really super sensitive. So I have to be very careful about what I put around my eyes when I'm removing makeup. And um, usually when I do makeup, I can't do makeup, you know, two days in a row, like heavy makeup. And um, that's why I don't film, you know, back to back. Usually if I do film, I have to film all in one day. And I, when I do film, I have to be really careful about eye makeup. I just have to be, I can't do, that's one of the one I never do the three looks, you know, when I do an eyeshadow palette because I, my eyes can't take that. I can't keep taking eye makeup off and, and redoing and going back over again. My eyes cannot take it. The same thing with removing foundation and stuff a lot on my skin. It really irritates it um, and it makes it very sore the next day. So I have to be really careful. So we'll go back over that really quickly. Now you can also use the microcellular to um, remove um, to remove your makeup, if you want to do that as a first step before you go in with a cleanser, you can use that. Um, I just prefer the uh, the balm that I'm going to use today because I've really been enjoying it. And I do have different ones. I have um, I have some. I have like one or two cold creams I use. I love the Wishful. I have that. I like to use that. But these are what I mainly use most of the time. But I do have some other stuff that I do use on the side. This isn't the only thing that I use. I just this is what I mainly use because I just got so much that I, I switch around all the time. I never use sometimes the same thing again on a daily basis. So just please keep that in mind too. All right, so we are ready to clean. So we are going to go in with the Dior Prestige. This is the Le Bon de, de Metallique. There's a whole story behind Prestige. Um, one of these days I will have to give you guys a little story about it. Uh, maybe maybe during a get ready with me because it will take me forever to kind of go through with it or whatever. But there's a, a, Dior actually makes the flower that actually goes into this the, this whole brand. Um, so it's very unique because this flower is the reason why it's called a Granville Rose is because it's actually developed by Dior. I actually use this particular flower because it, and it actually has eight different types of molecules that um, no one else possesses. Um, so it's really cool. And they use like every part of the flower too. They don't just use one part of the flower. They use every part of the flower. And Lancome does that too, similar in their Absolute products. They also use the rose in different ways, but they actually um, uh, cultivate this flower in a certain environment and actually have man-made this flower so it's very unique but anyway th so this is what it comes in it comes in a great big jar and it looks just like this so the texture it looks very similar to most melting bombs um, I just really love it. I was very lucky to get some of this. Um, she's expensive she's not cheap but I'm gonna kind of take just a little bit and we're gonna go in here and I'm just gonna massage this all over my skin. My night routine is a little bit more complex than my day. Of course, I don't know, maybe some of you guys thought, maybe thought maybe my day was kind of complex too. <laughs> but, um, but I try to go, but I got makeup on my hair and mine, so I have to go around that too. And we're gonna go in and really take that and really clean it and make, make sure we get it really good so we massage it in very nicely. It smells amazing. That just amazing smell to it. Now, Dior skincare, majority of it does have a smell to it. So it is very, because you can smell the rose. You can smell the um, the flowers that they use in it. Because a lot of French companies use a lot of flowers. Um, the same thing with Chanel. The same thing with Lancome. A lot of the French companies, YSL, a lot of them use it. So if you're not into that and you like more fragrance free, you like something, that's more, um, something a little bit more different. Um then it would not this would not be for you but i absolutely love it this and this jar i've had it now probably i would say almost i've had it now almost like three months and i even like barely even went down on it because you barely need any of it so i'm gonna take a little bit of water and we're just gonna massage that in and start to break up some more of that makeup Remove just a little bit of it with just my uh, Eve Balm Muslim cloth. I'm just going to take a little bit very softly and just kind of remove some of it around just to kind of break up the rest of it. You see, as you can see, kind of look really 
start to clean the skin. I'm going to go back in with a foaming cleanser, but you definitely don't have to use that. And there have been, during the winter, sometimes I don't even, I don't do a foaming because sometimes it dries me out. Um, but I also use um, this too over here. I use the Dior, I use the Microcellular Milk Cleanser. Sorry, I'm going to turn the water off. <laughs> Dirty run my mouth, forgot about turning the water off. Um, but this, I also use this Microcellular Water, uh, this cleanser. I absolutely love it. It's really great. Um, it's But they changed it. It's now new. They, this is the older packaging. They have a newer one. This is great too when you... Um, it's not as thick, it's a little bit more watery, so I mean, it may be a little bit more better for you if you don't like a really more of a thicker balm. I'm so sorry if I, I didn't mean to leave the water on for you people that are concerned. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know there are people that are dying without water. I forgot to turn it off. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm just going to, I got into talking and I forgot I don't normally leave the water on. I, I, well, I'm not usually talking when I'm doing skincare either, so it's a little, doing a lot at one time. So I'm going to take the La Mousse on offense. You guys saw my, I think it was in my April favorite. I love this cleanser. It feels so good, and it's great for all skin types. And you just need a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit, and we're going to go in. And I'm going to really, I'm going to show you guys, it really lathers up a lot. So the own, it basically puts moisture back into the skin. It actually makes the skin feel more hydrated. It makes it feel more supple, but it makes it feel clean. But off, takes off pollutants, um, any, any dirt, debris. It really actually helps to make the skin feel really soft and makes it feel really good. Um, it actually has cornflower water in it and Nivea, the Nivea uh, flower as well from the Dior Gardens. By the way, Dior has like about eight gardens, by the way. I know this sounds like an infomercial for Dior. <laughs> I promise it's not even personal. <laughs> uh, just like I do that. I was like, sorry. I'm like, oh my God, they're going to think this is sponsored. But it's not. I wish it was sponsored. Hey, Dior, if you want to sponsor me, you sure can. I will let you do it. And I will put it right up there and be very proud of it. But it's sponsored by Dior. Don't think I wouldn't. <sighs> that would be a wonderful day when that happens. But so far, that hasn't happened yet. But anyway, we're just going to take my muslin and go around it. And instead of, because if I splash, guys, let me tell you, <laughs> it's all over the mirror, it's all over the basin, and I'm a very clean person, so I hate all that stuff. It's all over my shirt, it's all over the sink. It's just a hot mess. So I'm going to splash in just a minute, but I just like go back through and just wipe that excess off, make sure that I got anything off of it, to make sure there's nothing left. And we're going to splash with a little cool water. And leave my face wet. I don't ever really, I don't pout, I don't do, especially with my skimmy dry, I like everything to soak in. Um, so we are going to go in with our next step and that is my Lancome Renergy Ultra Milky Lotion. It's a peel. Um, and it actually, I use this about twice or three times a week. I also go backwards and forwards between it and the L'Oreal um, Pure Glycolic Toner. Um, I really, really like it. It keeps my skin at bay, so I really enjoy it. I'm gonna take my another one of these and I'm gonna run it under some cool, uh, little cool water a little bit. And I'm gonna and I kind of drain it out a little bit. So it just kind of looks like this. And I shake up the thing and we're just gonna shake it up. Now, Moncom is phasing this out, so they aren't going to be making it. Um, but if you wanted to try a really good one, this one is a really good one. I just happened to get some extra testers because <laughs> we're phasing it out. So I'm very lucky to get some extra testers. But it really just helps to hydrate and it really just exfoliates a little bit or gets any excess off. But it does a really good job. It makes your skin look really radiant and I really like it. Let me show you up in my hairline um, and down my jaw. Um, so barely you can see that we didn't have very much makeup left over. So that was good. That's how good and clean that we got it. But you can definitely, that um, the L'Oreal one does just as good a job. And it's, and it's a lot less expensive. Anyway, the long one I think was like 60 and I think the L'Oreal was like 15. If you get it on, um, if you get it at Walmart. The La Lotion, this is um, Dior Prestige. It's a essence. I also use the Chanel sometimes. I also did the Chanel Sublimage Essence sometimes, as well as the, um, I might sometimes do the Captured Hotel that I did in the morning, but we're just gonna take it off. You only need a little bit of this. I'm gonna take like two pumps of it, and we're just gonna rub our hands together. 
and just gonna kind of just press it over my skin, over top of that glycolic toner and just really press it all in and really inhale in all the beautiful aromatherapy in the product because it just smells so good. The skin just feel really hydrated and very emollient. And just make sure I get it on my neck and everything too. I feel like I'm doing a Vogue shoot. I always make, I'm feeling, I'm kind of liking this. <laughs> this is kind of fun to me. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with Genefeet. We did this this morning. Um, and I also do the, um, also do the L'Oreal, the Hyaluronic, the Revitalift, the Hyaluronic Acid. So I go backwards and forward between them two. I'm just going to use a pump of my Genefeet and go all over my skin. Normally, you know, I'm just, because I'm not talking, I just, I'm already, I've been way done and already eating dinner by now, unusually. <laughs> this doesn't take me this long to do it. It looks like it would, but it doesn't. Um, so next, we are going to go in with the fabulous um, Midnight Serum by L'Oreal. We're going to be doing that. Um, and I'm going to be taking a pump of that. Taking a full pump of that, full dropper. And we're going to kind of go, and it's kind of, kind of goes on kind of rich. I'm really gonna just smooth that again on her throat. And I'm not shy about getting in here, guys. I don't really spend a lot of the time. I mean, I do like to massage once in a while, but I try not to massage too much because if I massage too much, my skin gets irritated. I have to be careful with it, especially after makeup and all the brushes and everything, it kind of gets irritated. So now it comes to, I usually make a decision on the two. I will maybe do, maybe just go with this and I'm good, you know, depending on the skin, depending on what I feel like, you know, every night is different, but um, I usually go between the absolute, the, I got water all over the absolute, the serum, I use it. I really love it, it's great. And then I also use the Dior Le Nectar. I also love it too. Um, it's, this one just helps to lift and firm. This one is supple and helps with firmness and smoothness too. Um, so um, I've used this in a, uh, I used this recently in a video that I just did recently. I think it was the mascara and with the long comb. Now I'm gonna do the Le Nectar tonight. I could show you guys what it's like, but it's really awesome. And you only need like a pump or so. I did about two pumps and you just press it into the skin. And just makes the skin feel really good and supple. And again, you know, you guys, I'm very dry. I mean, most of you guys probably would be like, oh my God, this would be so much stuff on me. But yeah, um, you don't need this, all this stuff. You don't, you don't really don't. I mean, some people can use one serum and they're good. Some people can use one cream and you're good. Some people can just do um, an overnight mask, they're good. Whatever works for you, don't feel that, again, I don't wanna feel like I'm, <laughs> the only reason why I've never done skincare videos too is because I don't, I don't wanna influence you guys on doing something that you don't wanna do or something that's too much or you would be like, you'd be overwhelmed. I mean, I just don't want to do that to you. So just throwing that out there again, I just don't want to do that. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to do just a little bit. I've got a little bit of a, um, it's just uh, from the gym. This is from sweating a lot. I get little clogged pores from sweat. They clog my skin. So I'm going to take a little bit of this um, proactive. It's a little bit of the emergency blemish relief. And I'm just going to do a little bit on some little areas here that I just feel like it kind of got, they get a little clogged. And I like to do them over some serum so it doesn't dry my skin out or make me irritated. Um, so next we're going to do my favorite, favorite product out of this one. So this product I have absolutely fell in love with and it's very expensive. Um, but it, I think it's like 250, I think for it. Um, but it is the most amazing, mask I think I've ever used. <laughs> I can't tell you. I've used a lot of masks. I use a mask every day. I mask every day usually. Um, especially after I shave, I normally use a mask. And usually it's a hydrating one. I don't do a lot of the really heavy, the clay ones or anything like that or anything to make me really irritated. I do something to soothe my skin afterwards. Um, this is the Dior Prestige. It's the Legrand mask. 
Um, it is absolutely, the packaging, by the way, these guys are like pure glass. I mean, they are super heavy, um, but it's really beautiful. I keep the lid on the top of it. They're, re they're refillable, so you can actually pop these out and you can buy the refills in them. So you don't have to worry about the jar. If you want to travel with the refill, you can. Um, but I'm going to take a little bit off the top of it. And uh, this is what the texture looks like in the inside of it. It is like, it's an oxygenating it's an oxygenating mask. So when you put it on the skin, your skin feels, it, it stimulates the skin. So overnight, your skin just, look, it gives you this flush. It looks so bright and so healthy the next day and so plumped and so just supple the next morning. It just has this beautiful glow on your skin. And you only do it about twice a week. Um, and you sleep in it, so you don't have to take it off. You can if you want to. Um, I mean, but I'm gonna use probably, I might even use more than this, depending on, sometimes it depends on my skin and how dry it feels, because my skin just sucks stuff up. So I'm gonna take quite a bit and put it all over my skin and my neck. And I'm just gonna really push that into the skin and immediately it just kind of makes your skin feel so good. And it just feels really hydrated and plump. And it just, oh, it makes your skin in the morning. Oh my God, it makes your skin. But you can see how it gives, see how it makes my skin look a little pink. It, you can feel the tangle in it. When I tell you Dior products, I know this sounds really stupid and you guys are probably gonna laugh at me, but and you're probably like, oh my God, yeah, right. But Dior products are so, they're they're potent. Like, I mean, when I'm saying potent, they're like using like a glycolic, like, I mean, I use Dr. Lantern once in a while, or I'll use a retinol like I have in the long term. This is a 0.2%. Um, I do that more in the winter. I don't do as much of that in the summer. But I mean, but it's, I mean, but it's like some, they're really intense. Like, I mean, the first week of using these products, I mean, like right now I can feel the tingle going on with this mask. I mean, you can really feel it. I mean, these products, they go in and they, they just start, they got really start working and fighting on that skin. I mean, you can feel it. You can feel it working. Um, especially with a lot of their, so a lot of their, the, all the capture products are like that. I mean, they're really good products. And then uh, Dior is mostly known for uh, makeup and fragrance. That's what people think of when they think of Dior. But I mean, but their skincare is really amazing because they their technology is really out of this world. It's just not talked about as much. Um, but I'm going to take a little bit of now my Vapori, my bougie cream, my eye cream. This is the, um, the gold eye cream. And I don't even want to tell you guys how insane this process. I was very lucky because this was a free, it was a gift. I, way back last year, I did a, a review. I'll, if I put, I'll pin it up here. I did a review on the La Prairie foundation and the powder. And, um, I have friends in high places in Nordstrom's and they, they had this as a free gift. And um, they give me a free jar of this, so I got a free jar of it. So, I mean, was, I was very, very fortunate. But this eye cream is great. But let me tell you, it is, she is like 350. She, I mean, the La Prairie is, oh, it's, it's, she's like, bit of, I mean, she's like, some of the creams are just insane. But again, guys, remember, this is not going, oh my God, you need to buy a really super expensive product. You do not. You can get just as good as stuff in in the drugstore, you can get just as good as stuff as, you know, maybe in Sephora, you know, that's not as expensive. There may be things, you know, because a lot of these, again, some people can't take the fragrance, they can't take certain things. Um, even though a lot of the, the, the a lot of the Dior and Le Moncombe is in your 85% natural or 90% natural, but still, I know some people, they just can't do that. So, Typically, um, right now, I'm pretty good. I'm a little tight still through here, believe it or not. I know that sounds really crazy. Um, my roommate is an esthetician, and she's given me facials before, and she's like, oh, my God, your skin is just, it just sucks. It, like, in the morning, you half of the glow will be gone in the morning. I won't have any, it'll be very, it won't be very much, because usually all of it's gone. In the morning, I'm just, look, just just plain and normal in the morning. It takes an awful lot. Like even most of the time I will take and put Vaseline over this. I do slug a lot. I do love doing that. Tonight, I probably won't do that though. I'm gonna do a little bit of my, um, this is the um, 
the Bomb Sickle Repair Cream for face and body. I talked about this too in a video I just did recently. This is fragrance free. It does not have anything in it. So if you have very sensitive skin, it's really good for that. It's really good for soothing eczema. It's really good for soothing people that have um, any kind of wind burn, sunburn. If you have anything that just needs to be healed or just really soothe, it just makes the skin feel so good. I, I put it on my neck all the time because my neck gets really red here and it just makes my, my neck feel really good. Okay, so last step of our routine is we're gonna take a little bit of this, um, my Dior. This is my Lips Maximizer Serum. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And um, I have um, some very rich um, cream that I'll be putting on my lips tonight before I go to bed. And you can also do a lip mask over this, but I talked about this in my favorite video. This is a unique serum that actually helps to plump the lips. So it feels a little minty and it feels a little dry. It's a serum, so it dries down and it starts to feel, it just feels the slightest bit tacky, but it's not like a wet or like a glossy or like a super moisturizer. You put this on, do it actually um, act, it makes the lips feel plumper the next day. It makes the lips feel more hydrated. It makes them look more exfoliated. It makes them look more healthier. Um, and then, um, and also help the fine lines around the mouth area a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, we're 51, you know, things like that happen. Um, and then we, and then you can take and put or take and put a lip moisturizer or a lip mask or something over top of it, um, and you just and you just seal it in. Um, you can go to bed with. I have went to bed with this um, without putting anything over top of it, but um, you, but typically it works better when you do put something over top of it because um, I just my lips are so dry. I mean, I usually put a glob of stuff on my lips before I go to bed. I um, mean, you can also put the. Um, if you have the Dior Lip Collagen or the Lip Maximizer, you can put that over top of it before you go to bed. Um, I know my roommate, she loves it. She, that's one of her standbys. Then everybody's always asking like, what does she do to her lips? Like, I mean, does she get them done? And, um, you know, and she always loves that product because it makes her lips look like she did get them done, but they just get, help to keep them really plump and really healthy. Um, and sometimes I will put that over top of it, but usually I love the eight hour cream by Elizabeth Arden, so I use that quite a bit. Um, I think that's it guys. I think that's it. I think that's all. Um, you know, so I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and end this one out right now because my last one, I had to do a special intro <laughs> for the last one. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't overwhelming to you. I hope it was just fun. This is fun. I love you guys hanging out in my bathroom with me. Um, we'll see how you guys like these. Um, we'll see if maybe we do any more of these in the future. It depends on people's comments and what they say and how they feel about it and what have you. Um, I mean, because if I get a lot of any negative about it or whatever, I may not do these again. I'm not really sure because I really just keep this is kind of private for me. So I don't really like to always announce stuff like this. Um, and again, it's like I said, I'm just fortunate because I do work for um, wonderful companies and I've worked for them for a very long time and they've always treated me really well. And I mean, you know, some of these, I mean, I have purchased like, you know, especially the L'Oreal and stuff like that. But I mean, but some of them, I'm very fortunate too that I don't have to, um, you know, cause we do get gratis and, and you know, they, um, the executives and people in the company are really wonderful and we get to try the product out. And that's one of the advantages of working for companies sometimes. Um, so anyway, with that said, guys, you know, please be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall. Remember to tell someone that you love them today because life is way too short. And also remember to reach out and share a little kindness today. Give a little kindness today, a little smile, a little something, a little thank you. Anything that can make somebody's day. And, um, you know, and that is it. And we will see you again in the next episode. Peace out. Take care. And I love you. Bye.